there are people that say they should change the Constitution so that he could be elected even a third time. Would you support that? Yes, sir. And why, how come? Well, we've seen what he did with four years. Why not see what he can do with another four? Would you say the same thing for Joe Biden? Hell no. So it's, it's a constitution for everybody. You were just talking about unity, right? Absolutely. Like, he definitely hasn't showed any unification regarding Republic or Democrat. It's down to the people. Like, we forgot about that. We the people. There are people in this line talking about repealing the 22nd Amendment. Are you in favor of that? Um, maybe. If it was him, maybe, yeah. But what if it was Joe Biden? No. This country can't take no more Joe Biden and people like Joe Biden. This country, if we don't win the election, we may not survive. I mean, it, it, everything has just gone downhill since they've been in office. If Trump wins, there's talk in this crowd that I've heard that they want to amend the 22nd Amendment and allow him to run for a third term before he even wins a second. How would you feel about that? I would be okay with it. Yeah, I would be okay with it. That would be good. There are people talking about how they want to see the 22nd Amendment repealed so that he could run for a third time should he win. Would you be in supportive of that? I would. If, yeah, if he does everything he says he's going to do, which he, he did in the past, so I believe he'll do it again. And if President Biden were to win again and the, the Democrats tried to do that, uh, in theory, what would you, would you still support it? Well, no. <laughs> He would be 83 years old. Would you like to see them change the 22nd Amendment to have him able to run for a third term? Things like that. No, I think we need to leave it alone, but I'd like to see DeSantis come along and run right behind him. I think DeSantis would make a good candidate, but Donald Trump's a man right now. I think, I think he lied about Stormy Daniels, and he paid good money and, and, and was able, should, legally able to lie about it. And that's the only thing he's ever lied. He's been right and truthful about everything since. Yeah. Well, there's one thing that he's been wrong about. And everything well, that they say is misinformation always winds up Trump was right. What, I, what I'm what I'm talking what I'm talking about. Yeah, think about what's going on. <laughs> what accomplishments do you like specifically? That he was trying to secure the border and that the gas prices were low, food was low. Now everything's so expensive. How much in retrospect do we look at the pandemic is being the cause of that. I don't know. I think that was all fake. The pandemic? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was fake? Any shots. I didn't trust them. Did you get? Uh, did you ever have COVID? I'm sorry. Did you ever have? Yes, twice. Yeah, that's why. Well, I'm glad you're well. Thank you. Uh, can you say one nice thing about our president? Uh, <laughs> yeah. When he leaves office, I'll say a few nice things about him, but. I mean, he's incompetent. He's not all there. He's in his dotage. Why do we even have somebody like that in office? Somebody with the nuclear codes that could end our way of life on this planet. Why is he even there? I was asking for one nice thing. Well, I said a few nice things. I mean, you know, you asked me to talk about the devil. What am I going to say? Compliment him? 